What up, T-Squad? It's your girl, Keisha, and I am here with a brand new behind-the-scenes tea video. So, VH1's Couple Retreat will be back for season two. And you will be shocked at who the couples are on the show. And we have a new host on the show. So, this season, the show will not only be hosted by AJ Johnson from House Party fame. She was the counselor and host of the last show. But this season, she will also be joined by NBA player turned actor turned host John Sally. I don't really know what John Sally is going to contribute to this show, but I guess. <laughs> I fucking guess. Now let's get into the couples. First up, we have comedian Jess Hilarious. And her boo thing, Daniel Parsons, I guess he's not a celebrity. I've never heard of him before. If he is a celebrity, excuse me. But she will be on season two. Then we have former model, former Real Housewives of Atlanta star, and current Fox Soul show host, Claudia Jordan, and her man, KJ Dismute. I've seen her talk about her man several times on Fox Soul. So it'll be very interesting to see their relationship. You'll get to see a little bit of it in the trailer at the end of this video. But Claudia Jordan and her man will be on the show as well. And it ain't looking too good for them. Next up, we have Nick Young and his wife, Kiana Green. If you don't know the backstory on their relationship, they were high school sweethearts. They were together during college. After college, he went to the NBA. They broke up around that time. Um, then uh, they had a baby together, I believe, while she was in college. They co-parented together. Uh, they then started back seeing one another, and he cheated on her with Iggy Azalea. She found out about the relationship and engagement via social media. She was hurt. Him and Iggy ended their relationship and him and Kiana got back together. Kiana was on one season of Basketball Wives where she was crying over him and the situation. But after watching her episode on TV One um, Uncensored, I believe that was the show she was on, if I'm not mistaken, I learned so much about her. It was either TV One or the OWN Network, I forgot, but she's a very smart, intelligent girl, and he really did her wrong during that time, but it was like they were meant to be together. They were, like I said, high school sweethearts, and they have several children together, and they will be on this show, which I find very interesting because based on the trailer, uh, they're going through some things, you know, with his cheatation in the past so i can't wait to get into their tea and we have ronnie and shamari devoe you know ronnie is one of the founding members of new edition and bell biv devoe fame and shamari devoe was in the girl group black she was an actress and a real housewife of atlanta as well as carlos king's um, reality show that debuted last season when all the former 2000 girl group members got together to make a band together well they are on this season of couples retreat I'm very shocked to see Ronnie being like on a reality reality show you know he popped in here and there on the Real Housewives of Atlanta when Shamari was on and he made a little appearance on the Carlos King show, but he's never really filmed film. So to get them on there talking about their straight marital business, you know, they had an open marriage at one point. So this is going to be very interesting to see them really putting it out there. I'm wondering, did he do the show to appease her? Because, you know, Shamari, you know, is trying to stay in the spotlight. So this is going to be very, very, very interesting to see their relationship drama be spilled out on national television. I am so shocked to see these two. Styles P and his wife, Aju, Ajua Styles, are joining this television show as well. Now, we all know they were just on Marriage Boot Camp literally about two seasons ago. They worked through their issues. He really got enlightened. He really was in tune with the therapist. It seemed like they had came a long way. You know, their daughter had committed suicide. I think he had cheated on her years ago. So they had a lot of issues that they wanted to deal with, but I thought that they had solved them all. Well, obviously they have not because they are back on reality television trying to fix their marriage now I don't know if they doing this show for a check 
or what I don't really understand why they're on here. You know, they have several juice businesses. They're doing very well from themselves. You know, the locks won their verses last year that really put them on the map again. So I'm going to be very shocked to see like, what's their tea? What are they on here for? Cause I'm off rip feeling like this is just a money grab and just another, you know, notch to put on their resume and to keep them in the media because i'm not really understanding why they're back and last but certainly not least season one couple michael blackson and his girlfriend rada chang or chiang i don't know how to pronounce her last name they are back remember season one they had a lot of issues with him liking to have numerous women them having threesomes she wanted to be exclusive or for him to cut back on the bitches she uh told him she was pregnant well she told the world that she was pregnant they had already known she was pregnant but i'm believing that she must have miscarried because there was no baby um after they wrapped the show i want to know why the hell they're back uh, is he back seeing the bitches what is going on why why are they back as well? I need answers. Can't wait to see what their issues are. Now let's take a look at the trailer, you guys. Get into it. We really want to dig deep and help you find your truth. Something's missing our relationship. You ain't the best I've ever had. With trust. Do you honestly believe that Styles cheated once? Infidelity. I get one side chick a month. I just look like a clown at this point. And romance. Are you attracted to her sexually? No. Ooh, that hurt me. This time... There was no sex. I just felt like I needed to go somewhere else. It's make it or break it season. We like each other a lot, but we're not in love. Her feelings have been hurt every other day on this retreat. You don't get the feel for her. I don't even want to try anymore. Do you forgive him? No. I must say, the trailer got me interested. I'm excited to review season two. I did do reviews on season one. Season one was really good. So, of course, I'll be doing reviews on season two. The show airs on VH1 May 16th. But remember, May 16th is the week that I will be on vacation. So, I won't get to the reviews until episode two of season two too so remember that you guys but yeah i felt bad if if that went down like it went down on the trailer with claudia's man saying he's not even attracted to her like oh my god um nick young and his wife going through they past drama styles p being questioned about uh has he cheated since back in the day like this is going to be a mess Yes. oh my god let me know what y'all thought about the cast the host the trailer let's talk down below in the comment section make sure to thumbs up this video like and subscribe and hit that notification bell button i love you guys and i will see you on the next video bye oh you don't know uh sure you didn't run into my fiance car it's something different about him and i know that he has a girl but everything about him just says that he's supposed to be mine like i can honestly feel it yeah, I see you out here doing big things, man. Being here with you was really, really making me happy. I felt the same way, too. When I get home, I got a lot to handle. You do, too. I know you got a man. You been here. You have a whole fiance at home, remember? Get out! Girl, did he hit you? No! Dirty, dingy ass motel room like this, bro. This right here, this is our reality. We got something special. I have to save myself. Don't touch me again, you know what's happening. Get out! Get out! All my life, I've been waiting for somebody to save me. I knew that it was gonna be you. Oh, I can't seem to let you go.